So this morning, Davey has gone off. He really wants to play with his metal detector a little bit while we're here in the Berry Islands because it's kind of open to the east, so you never know what might have washed up on the beaches. Um, so he's gone off. So me and Fox, we're just chilling, drinking some coffee, and enjoying the morning. Hopefully, we'll see if Davey finds anything interesting. Chances are it's just going to be more rubbish, beer cans, bottle tops, and that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. I am a barefoot man. Barefoot to make my stand. I bear my souls for all the world to see. Yeah, yeah. I am a barefoot man. He planted firmly in the sand. Bear your souls. Come along with me. Lose your shoes, lose your blues. Come along, come along with me. Hey guys, so I've been off ex <laughs> exploring. As you know, I like my metal detector. So I really wanted to check out Devil's Key on the ocean side, but it was a bit rough. I couldn't land the dinghy and I was on my own. So I decided to go a little bit further up. I need to check the name of the key. Anyway, it's right next to a sunken vessel and I thought, had an easy place to drop the dinghy. So I put that there and went exploring and metal detected. Didn't find it. it was a really clean island, no trash and that sort of stuff, which is normal around here. But anyway, I just dug up what looks like a real treasure box. I mean, don't get me wrong. This isn't from the 17 or 1800s. It was wrapped, wrapped in two black plastic bags and a, another, you know, like a Publix bag or something like that. It doesn't have a key. But I do have a little inkling that somebody called Adventure Man Dan was in the Berry Islands and he said something about burying some treasure and someone to try and find it. So, looks like I found it completely randomly because I have no coordinates, no clues, no nothing, just a metal detector. It looks like I found his box. So, give me a minute, I'm gonna break this thing open and uh, see what's inside. Bolt cutters. Dan, where's the key? It's probably on another clue. <laughs> Screw you, sorry dude. Good padlock. It's not actually that bad, is it? I don't want to break the box because the box is actually quite cool. Yeah. I think I might cut it. Right, give me a minute, guys. I'm going to cut it open. So, obviously, I don't have the key, but I do have a hacksaw, a couple of tools. So, let's have a look what's inside. I'm presuming this is Dan's treasure box. Otherwise, it could be anything. It looks like Dan's. 
Did you break the thingy? No, he squished it. He squished it. Ready? Yep. There's actually some real money. That's five bucks. Five bucks. For six dollars. Six dollars. Wow, look, it's treasure. Look, real. That's the only treasure I've had. Look, old coins. The baby got a tiara. Oh! That actually worked. Does it? No, I don't know. That's something straight out of the pirate store in Nazareth. Though. Is that a real Fabergé egg? If it is, we're lucky. Oh, there's an SD card. That could be interesting. That's got to be a message from somebody. Swiss Army knife. Matt, this is funny. Gold coins. Oh, don't lose the pearls. They're expensive. It's the first treasure you found. This is hilarious. I'm playing with the metal detector all the time. Look at that. Look, it must be real money, I'm sure. Copy. Isn't it? If only that was real, eh? Oh, Adventure Born. Would that have something to do with you, Dan? If only that was real. If only. Look at that. <laughs> I think it says on here. Copy. Oh, yeah, copy, copy, copy. Dan, you're cheap, dude. Every one of them says copy on it. Still fun to have. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Be bold. Look at that, it's a new ring. Signal light. United States of America. One ounce fine silver. Look at that, real treasure. <laughs> I presume that's one of them laser pens. Right, so there's six dollars. So we made six bucks. But there's a lot of cool stuff in there, fun stuff. Next time there's a pirate party, we can dress up. That's the funniest. I'm going to check every it? single one. I want to know what's on the um, what's on the memory stick. Okay, so finding treasure or a treasure box like this was not anticipated. Um, the cash. So, like I said, I was going to check every single one. As it turns out, hidden amongst them, um, one of every denomination, so one 100, 150, 120, 110, 115, and one one were actually real. So there was actually like, I think it was $186 that was in the box. Winner! <laughs> Again, I wish all of it was real, but better than nothing. It's the biggest find Davy has ever had with his metal detector. Okay, so <laughs> it's been quite exciting this morning finding treasure um, inside the little egg inside the box. If I can open it. Um, there was an SD card. So I've just put that into the computer and sure enough it is Dan's treasure box from Adventure Born, Adventure Man Dan on YouTube. Um, we have some friends who are good friends with him. We've never met him in person, but we have chatted a little bit on social media. Um, so it's kind of funny that we found his box with a metal detector. He actually put a lot of hard work into this. Um, so there's a full on map with a poem with clues on how to try and find this box. Um, we didn't follow any of the clues. We didn't even really notice that much. I know Dan had put out a post on Facebook a while back um, and we had seen the treasure box and we had seen the cash and it was all exciting, like maybe we'll find it. Um, but we never really paid that much attention to it. Never thought we would actually find it. Um, so we have been in communication with Dan since. He was really disappointed that we found it with a metal detector and not by following his clues. So I'm sorry, Dan. Um, but at least someone found it, right? Um, so what we have decided to do, um, we have decided we are going to bury it somewhere else in the Bahamas. Um, on this little SD card, there was a video, a congratulations video on finding the treasure. Um, there's a few different options. He said we could either bury it back, well one, 
we could actually keep everything inside of it for our own. Um, two, we could bury it back where we found it, so maybe someone else could find it. Um, or three, we could give it to him. He would give us $150 for returning it to him. I found the cash inside. I know there was more money inside than 150 bucks. <laughs> um, we've decided that we are going to bury it again, um, but we're gonna bury it on a different island in a different location and make some sort of clue of our own. Um, Dan is now currently in Grenada, I believe. Um, so it's not that easy to give him the box back. Um, so we have decided we will bury it again for him. And maybe with his help we can come up with some different clues um, on where we've put it this time. So stay tuned for that. We'll leave some clues on our social media, on Facebook, Instagram, that kind of stuff, where we do end up burying it. Um, maybe somewhere in one of our favorite locations. You never know. When we do rebury it, um, I can't say that there's going to be $186 in that fake money packet. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I can put that back in there. YouTube doesn't pay that much, so um, I don't know if we can afford to do that. But we will put some other kind of stuff in there. We'll put some of our own boat cards as well. And hopefully the adventure continues. We hope you've enjoyed this week's episode of us finding treasure in the Bahamas. Um, as a bit of a real-time update, we've been having a lot of people ask us about Hurricane Lee coming towards us. Um, it turned north way before us. Um, if you can see behind me, it's flat calm. We have the sunshade up. Um, it's completely flat calm here today. Um, I miss a miss is as good as a mile or something. That's what Davy always says. Um, so the storm is a good ways away from us. There is going to be a bit of a swell on the uh, outside of the harbour. Um, but we're in a good spot. We're nice and safe. So we are going to keep an eye on what's coming up after it. There looks like there could be a couple hurricanes that are coming. Or a couple storms that are coming after Hurricane Lee. Uh, so hopefully we'll be good. It is the peak of hurricane season now. But so far we are good. Isn't that right, Fox? What do you think? We good? Should we go come play with your coconut? Come here! Come here! Good girl! Hi! Good girl! <laughs> so, stay tuned for more next week, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a good week! Don't forget to like this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up share it. Uh, it really helps us with the, uh, it, <laughs> it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Um, if you comment, like, and share. So thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Good boy. See you next week. Pa? 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 But you don't have any snacks. Pa? Pa? Thanks, good girl. I'll go get you a snack.